Hey guys, Thunder E here, and you guys are excited about this video. Uh, of course, we're trying to find out which is the best Android smartphone. Well, it's of course between the Pixel 7 Pro and the Galaxy S22 Ultra. We're starting with the front facing cameras at 4K 60, just walking by. Of course, we do photos, we do video, cinematic mode, gaming, speakers, much more. So let's go ahead and find out. As we begin, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Anchor, making the GAN Prime Chargers. Now, let's take a look at just 4K60 recording here, walking down the street, looking at stabilization from uh, both cameras. Of course, we have the Pixel on the left, Pixel 7 Pro, Galaxy on the right. You can make your own judgments here, but you can see that one is definitely better than the other, Galaxy with a slight edge. And then we are going to move over to cinematic video. This one, I want to hear your take, guys. What do you you think now the galaxy looks to be a little bit on uh, the lighter side in certain positions but uh, both of them have very similar bokeh though the the pixel 7 pro is a bit more focused if you will but again interesting in look and feel uh skin tone is much lighter on the pixel in this angle compared to the galaxy s22 ultra but yeah let me know your thoughts here on this as well Okay, taking a look at Super Steady versus Action Camera. And clearly, Super Steady needs a lot of work. Samsung needs to definitely fix this. The Pixel looks so much better and really solid. Now, we're going to transition into photos. And what you're going to see is a front facing camera photo. We see two of those. You're going to see more contrasting on the Pixel, um, a little softness on the Galaxy. My shade is kind of in between in terms of colors. And then we go over to some regular portraits. You can see that the Pixel doesn't do a lot of the foreground stuff compared to the Galaxy. And some of these shots, you're going to see a difference in coloration. So Daniel becomes a little bit more redder in the Pixel and a little bit more orange in the Galaxy. So it's kind of a, it's neither of his skin tones. Uh, with me here, there's more contrasting on the Pixel and uh, less on the Galaxy, but you get the idea or as you kind of go through these images that they both look good, I would say one's preference. The background blur on the Pixel looks really, really nice and solid. Uh, I do kind of prefer the way Kevin looks here on the Galaxy of the Pixel. Now, we're gonna get into some zoom shots, which are really impressive, especially the digital zoom on the Pixel. So both images look really good. And as we zoom in closer here, you can see again, um, of course, uh, one's 2X, one's 3X here in this one. Uh, we get a much closer look. Uh, again, that digital zoom looks pretty nice. And when we get to this last shot here, uh, this is 30X, really solid here on the Pixel, but the Galaxy definitely wins this one. So here's a video shot of that digital zoom in action. Now, this is the Galaxy S22 Ultra first. Uh, we had to use different shots because you cannot record and switch lenses because not all the lenses are used at the same time. But you can see now this here is a 20x zoom. Looks pretty nice. Then we're moving over to the Pixel here. Now, this is a continuous recording because you can zoom while recording. So we went from ultra wide to one. Uh, then we went to about a 2x, then we went to 5, you can see how clear that comes up. Um, then uh, trying to move to a 10x here, and I believe you can go all the way to about a 30x for a digital zoom. And it gets grand later, but still really solid video. Low light photography here, you're going to see some differences. I do like the Galaxy here of the Pixel more focus pixel looks much better even though i say the galaxy does better shadows pixel definitely wins on this one here and as we move to the next photo here this both missed the original mark uh the galaxy is closer to the color i do like the galaxy color here of board femme over the pixel um and uh the galaxy of course makes food looks much more, more punchier but that's a more natural tone to the food look um, so I would say it's preference, but the Galaxy just looks cleaner here. Now, when it comes to this shot, Pixel wins because it gives everybody better skin tones overall. My skin tone looks better than the Galaxy. While, of course, the Pixel wins here again. You see MJ and Daniel. Galaxy has less lens flare on this shot. And when we move to the next one, the Galaxy also represents the building and the lighting's better. And also the streets. Uh, plus, I think both of them are pretty much the same in this shot here. And the final shot, I will give this a little bit more to the Pixel. Front facing camera, low light condition. 
the Galaxy looks much better, less grainy. Also, you can see my face is better lit here. Uh, and then we move over to the rear camera. I will give the edge to the Galaxy. A little bit better in stabilization and uh, also looks a little bit brighter, but the Pixel also is much improved from what they had from last year. So cameras, closer than what we would have expected. Pixel has definitely improved with the video quality of the cameras, especially being now Samsung with its super steady, which honestly they need to improve. But I have to say though, Samsung's camera is still the best for video on the Android ecosystem so far and the cinematic mode, I kind of like it a little bit more. When it comes to photography, I think uh, the Pixel does a better job with skin tones as they've been pushing for quite a while. And they also do a slightly better job with low light photography. So what do you guys think? Who won that camera aspect of this video? All right, okay, so when it comes to battery life and charging, I'm gonna give the edge to the S22 Ultra simply for the fact that the day I was recording, basically, by the time we hit midnight, the Galaxy was at 9%, the Pixel was at 34%, but all I did on the Pixel was shoot video and photos. While the Galaxy, I use it for my day-to-day, -day, emails, social media, watch TikTok, I did a ton of stuff, and it lasted from 9 a.m. to almost midnight. Simple. But when it comes to charging, it's a bit different. We both know both devices don't provide chargers in the box. This is where our video sponsor come in, and that is Anchor with the GAN Prime charger. Now, the reason I like this is the fact that I'm holding a 120 watt charger in my hand. Look at this. It is small, it is portable, and I love it. Now, I've been using this charger for quite a bit. I took it with me when I went to Vietnam and I used it on the plane to charge. I've used it across you know, different countries now. And I love it for the fact that I can charge three devices at the same time. As you can see here, you've got the ability to, of course, charge your laptop, you can charge your smartphone, your tablet, and it's got some really great features, not just the fact that you can charge three devices at one. You've got Active Shield 2.0 that basically monitors temperatures, making sure that nothing overheats while you're charging your devices. And then you've got Power IQ 4.0 that basically regulates and understands the right wattage you need for any of your devices, be it your smartphone, your tablet, or your laptop and showing that you're getting the fastest speed as well as also monitoring what it's actually doing on the go, which is great. So it means you can charge your Galaxy S22 Ultra and Pixel 7 Pro at the fastest speed possible while also regulating temperatures effectively. Honestly, this is probably one of the best chargers I have used. I definitely recommend it. And if you guys want to pick this up or any of the other GAN Prime chargers, they've got a different suite of chargers. They've won, they have some that are 150 watts, they got 65 watts, so on and so forth. Use the links down below, pick them up. Now let's go ahead and finish this battle vid. Both devices have some really lovely bright displays and they look great in indoors. But when you move outdoors, the Galaxy seems to be lacking yet again with the Pixel 7 Pro display looking much brighter outdoors compared to the Galaxy. Uh, don't mind the bars there, the Galaxy goes down to one hertz refresh rate, so there's usually why. But you can clearly see the Pixel, which is on the right, is uh, brighter than the Galaxy, which is on the left. Now, let's talk gaming. Of course, this is the part that I love, and this is where we saw some very interesting results. Now, we know the Pixel 7 Pro has the Tensor G2 processor, and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is in the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Playing Call of Duty Mobile, the, the Pixel 7 Pro does 89 frames per second at ultra settings. While at ultra settings on the Galaxy, we're still stuck at 60. Now, I think this needs an update, but that's just where we are. Now, PUBG Mobile is the same, so I'm not gonna focus on that because nothing changes there. Apex Legends, on the other hand, uh, on the Ultra Ultra uh, HD settings, the Pixel 7 Pro does 60 frames per second solid, while the Galaxy fluctuates between 60 to 55 to 60 frames per second. So there's a difference in frame rates there. So you're thinking, look, the Pixel must be better. Ah, then we move over to Genshin Impact. Now this is where the Pixel, uh, in about 10 minutes of gameplay, as I showed earlier in my gaming video, the Pixel 7 Pro does 41 frames per second, and to be fair, it actually did this in three minutes of gameplay of Genshin Impact. While the Galaxy starts off at 60 frames per second, and within that 10 minute time frame, it drops down to 45 frames per second. So the Galaxy handles uh, Genshin Impact much better than 
the Pixel 7 Pro. So is the Pixel 7 Pro better than the Galaxy in gaming? I'll say they're about the same. I think uh, it definitely updates are needed across the board, uh, but also that Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 really shows its age in just under 10 months. Temperatures. This is where both of them are actually at the same level. Both the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the Pixel 7 Pro come in at around 105 through like 107 degrees, roughly between that range for both devices, which is good. So it means we're getting really, at least really solid temperatures across the board when it comes to gaming for both devices, whether you're playing Genshin Impact or whatever games you're playing. So that is actually very, very nice. Now let's talk speakers. How well do they sound? I can describe it, but how about you guys take a listen? This is good, has been an interesting battle because they've gone back and forth in terms of performance and how they've done in all the different categories. And it also might fall on preference. So I'm gonna ask this question. I want to see your answers in the comments, guys. Who do you think won this battle and why as it pertains to you? Because when I look at it as you know, spec for spec, feature for feature, I think the Pixel 7 Pro won this one. And when you summarize it with the price point at $899 comparison to the Galaxy, which of course starts at like roughly around $1,100, then you have a clear winner here with the Pixel 7 Pro. Now, I do prefer the Galaxy for certain things, but I think here you can game, or you can take some great photos, you've got solid video, and you've got some great speakers. This might be the winner. So let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Leave them down below. And don't forget to check out more videos on the Pixel 7 Pro. I have my gaming video for you to go check out. Full details on gaming on there. And I'll have some more videos. I might do one on the Pixel Watch as well.